Hello everybody and welcome back to That Time I Got Reincarnated This is Slime Season 2. I say welcome back, it's the first one of Season 2. Welcome back overall. But Season 2, Episode 1 Anime Review. I'm excited for this. This episode, uh, you know, it, it was very setting the stage, welcoming you back into the world, so to speak. But man, it's nice to be back. See everyone's favourite characters, like... Everyone except Meleem. And it's just like, but why? I love Meleem. Why, why would you do this? What? Zero out of ten. Unwatchable. Not enough Meleem. But anyway, enough memeing about and all that other garbo. Let's get on with the episode. See how everything went down. And do this thing. So we open up on Rimuru at the Academy. Turns out he's leaving the Academy soon. For shame. Also, at this point, I'm actually going to mention I haven't seen the OVAs yet. I mean, I saw the... The beach one, and I saw the one where they like slap butts a lot, but I don't think they're relevant. Instead, I think the, the there's like three more, which is like might be relevant because there's like a teacher that shows up, and I feel like I'm supposed to know her, but I really don't. So I'm gonna assume that's from the OVA. I'll watch it at some point, I promise. Um, he says he'll vi visit. Does old uh, Rimuru? He's still got a month before he leaves, though, including final exams for the students, and they must be as gutted as I was, like, I still cringe a little when I hear that word, it's like, exams, I'm like, no, I don't have to do exams anymore, I'm past that point, um, apparently the kids are all good for this tis sensei tis sensei tis sensei like, that's fun word to say, actually, tis sensei uh, and then, you know, she's there, and they're all nice with her, apparently, so it's just Rimuru they're kind of, uh, sassy with, it's not even sass anymore, it's just cheeky, cheeky's a good word, we'll go with cheeky, um, Rimuru then heads home and looks longingly out into the distance with, uh, thingy, dog, Ranga. Is that his name? Oh god, this is gonna be a thing. I'm gonna forget everyone's name because there's a million characters. Um, also he can teleport now. I don't remember if that was a thing before. It's like aerial uh, traversal. It's teleporting. Um, and then they, I said, I put in my notes quickly recaps how we got here in the first season. It wasn't that quick, I would say. Considering there was a recap episode last week, you didn't need this little recap at the beginning. But maybe that's just me that thinks that. Personally, I thought it was kind of helpful because I, I I didn't watch the recap episode. It's a recap episode. I need to watch that. Um, but it was a little long, you know. It was it was long in the sense that like it was just scrolling and there was no words being said. And it was just like, okay, keep him talking, man. Keep him talking. You probably got to cut half of it out just by keeping it talking. But that's again... Minor nitpick, it doesn't even matter in the grand scheme of things at all. Um, and then they look out and like, man, I hope this time of peace will last forever. And I'm like, well, now it's not gonna, because you've said that. You've jinxed it, uh, Rimuru. You've, you have chosen, you've chosen the time of peace to not last forever, it turns out. It turns out that after the, the meeting with the Demon Lord guy at some point last season, I forget exactly when it was, they're sending delegates now to, to their country and they're getting some from his country and they're just gonna scope the place out, say hello, how you doing, you know, stuff to that effect. Benny Maru and Riga are heading, you know, they're heading up the like I say, expedition, non-expedition, the delegation squad, I don't know what to call them, uh, heading to the kingdom of, I wrote it down, Yuruzania, is that right, Yuruzania? It's, it's one of the made up places like Australia, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Rimuru practicing turning how to turn into things, practicing how to turn into things like Kirby, right? You know, when he, you're down B and smash, it turns into the spike, it turns into the thing. Sort of like that. Rimuru is basically Kirby. What happened if Kirby ate Rimuru? And what happened if Rimuru ate Kirby? Would that just be blue Kirby? I'm asking the real questions here. Uh, the girls bring him some clothes. The girls, of course, being Shuna and Shion. Um, they bring him some clothes, which are not exactly... I mean, they're pretty wacky. He's got dresses. Uh, there was a samurai-like armor outfit. And it's just like, for his, I guess, address for what he's going to do. Uh, and he's like, okay, let's let's get something else. And they do get something else. I forget exactly what he was dressed as. Which probably means it was fairly normal, I would assume. Um, Rimuru gets up on the stage and the crowd goes absolutely crazy, as you would. It's like, it's bloody Rimuru. He's up there. Um... They, he gives a short speech, I forget even what he says, it was probably a reference to something, but then Shuna's like, you gotta say more than that, my dude, and he's like, got it, my gal. Um, they, he does a big old speech, I didn't really write much of it down, it was fine. Um, he, he says to Benny Mara afterwards, hey, don't get into a fight, but the, like, basically, don't get into a fight, but don't let yourself get killed, like, don't, 
don't don't cause trouble but don't you know don't don't die basically just if you need to escape escape uh what are they they're going to find if they can get along with the other country can they have some sort of peaceful coexistence maybe some sort of trade deal i don't know what they sell in eurozania probably i don't know i i couldn't think of a funny joke um or do we need to cut ties with them i would suggest cutting toys cutting toys cutting ties with a big powerful demon lord is not the smartest idea um they might come for revenge although you um you have one of them as your own you know you it's like pokemon you send your own demon lord against theirs um, Benny Maru says, you know, hey, we'll make sure it's safe before you go there, Rimaru. That's why we're heading this thing up. Uh, and then they're like, here's hoping to good negotiations. And again, I'm like, now that you've said it, it's not going to be good negotiations. It's going to be bad negotiations, which is the opposite of good. I think you should, uh, we, we, all, we all know that fact. Rimaru and those that are left behind go about preparing for the delegates from the kingdom of Eurozania. I think of a kingdom. To, before they show up, uh, gotta go see Gazelle at some point. King Gazelle or Garzel. Gazelle sounds like an animal because it is an animal. Um, and then Trainee shows up. Trainee's the little wind spirit. Again, forgetting people's names. And basically says, hey, the delegates are in the forest. They'll be here in like five days. And also, they they will be here before. And it's like, oh man, is they a new villain? No, it's the champions. Who are the champions? We are the champions, my friend. And we will keep on fighting till the end um no the champions are the people that defeated the orc lord the ones that got the credit for defeating the orc lord because rimaru and that didn't want the credit remember uh they explain it in this i'm sure you remember i had actually forgotten who they were so i'm actually kind of glad for the little bit just rimaru going oh yeah this is who these people are you know that's all you really need for a recap in my book uh they save some girl and say tempest there's good monsters there they're friendly uh and then rimaru and then we get a little, just see how Rimuru's time's going. He's got like five days to kill. He just spends his time doing whatever. He goes through some teaching. He's doing more preparation. It's like a little montage to get to the important bit. The important bit, of course, is all the dudes in the hot spring with some brandy. Uh, it's very nice. They have, they just chat. Rimuru explains to the guys about the uh, the demon lord the delegates coming. Because they didn't know about that, apparently. Uh, and also then, briefly, we see all the girls just... No reason for it, but it's a bath scene, so I don't I don't think that needs further explanation, really. Um, Rimuru tells the the champions, don't start a fight, basically. Just just don't, just don't. I know he's a demon lord, but you know we're we're trying to be good here. We're trying to make peace. We're trying to do good things. Next day they arrive. There's tiger drawn carriages. This woman shows up. Her name is Albis. She's one of the beast masters, and Sophia is there too. She's kind of a dick, but is also a beast master. Uh, so Sophia, not Sophia, Sophia with a U, hates humans, thinks they're weak and crap and all that. And uh, Rimuru's like, oh, you think they're crap, do you? He tells Yom, who is like the head champion guy, he has a big sword. And that is that is, that is the most <laughs> interesting thing about him. Uh, he's like, Rimuru's like, R get him, Rome. Rome? Yom. Is it Yom? I've written Yom, so if that's wrong, my notes are wrong. Uh, basically, he gets him to go fight. And Shion is also angry because they were they were mean about Rimuru, and then she's like, "I'll fight ye instead." So she does. Shion takes takes over from Yom and fights. What was her name? Sophia. Sophia. They're having like a bare knuckled brawl all over the place. Uh, they end up in the trees, and there's loads of trees going down. And Rimuru's like, "God damn it! I'm gonna have to replant those goddamn trees." Like triple velvet over here. Meanwhile guy called Grusias, who I believe is also one of the Beastmasters. He was called the Runt of the Beastmasters. But I guess that means he's still one of the Beastmasters. That's still better than just being like some rando, I guess. Being the Runt of the Beastmasters. Uh, he's fight going to fight Yom, and they're fighting pretty evenly as well. And all, like both fights are pretty even. However, I thought they might end this episode. No, both fights are still ongoing. Pretty evenly split as we, as we head into next week's episode. In the end, Rimuru is like... I did, I did provoke this. I caused this. Like, sort of like a troll face, almost. And it's like, Rimuru, you did. But you were the one that wanted peace. But I guess they were kind of dicks. you got to show them not to be dicks. Because Tempest, you don't be a dick in Tempest. Otherwise you get kicked out. I mean, you don't get kicked out. You just get glared at a little bit. There's no, there are no dicks in Tempest. Metaphorically, not literally. I'm pretty sure there is literally some. Anyway, 
that uh, that was the end of the first episode. Yay! It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, it wasn't like outstanding, but it was a good reintroduction to the world and what's going on, you know, the trade things. Somehow, like, this is one of those shows where, like, it's something that should be really boring. It's like, oh, yes, there's, there's delegates checking out each other's countries. Like, logically, I'm like, that sounds super dull. But I, get, I, I then guess, you know, one of the countries is run by a demon lord and the other is run by a slime. So I guess that immediately makes it at least a little bit more interesting. But uh, no, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. I don't know. I haven't read the, the, the light novel or anything. Uh, it's a light novel, right? I think it's a light novel originally. I don't remember, but I think it is. Haven't read that. Um, so yeah, should, should, be, should be good. But for right now, though, what was my favorite part of this week's episode? And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where we see. Well, let's, let's have a look. So my favorite part is obviously just Rimuru being a troll. Like both at the speech where he started with a sports, a short speech and he had this look on his face. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like a reference to something, but it probably wasn't. And then later on with him starting the fight or provoking the... I know he started it. Even though he wasn't directly involved, he started the fight, let's be real. Um, yeah, that... I, I, as I said, there's nothing super stand stood out this episode, but it was just really nice reintroduction and I'm... I'm looking forward to seeing where things, you know, what happens next. Hopefully, we'll get some Malim soon, because Malim is the best. If we don't have any Malim, I'm going to be mad. I'm not going to be mad, I mean, I'll still be happy watching it, but I'll be just a little bit empty on the inside. And Malim is the best, you know? I'm sure people will disagree, they'll be like, no, how dare you? Rimuru is best girl, and I'm just there like, is... I'm not going to open that can of worms, actually, that's... You know, you do you, basically, you do you. But anyway, for right now, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and stuff. For more reviews, I'll be here every week reviewing Slime and there's other stuff reviewing too. Isn't that exciting? Yes, it is. For right now though, I'll see you next week. So take care and bye guys.